The UN Assistant Secretary General for Africa told the Security Council that terrorism and insecurity continue to spread in the Sahel, devastating the lives of millions of people. Now, Martha Ama say that civilians are often the main victims of terrorism acts and the suffering and loss suffered by civi civilian populations at the hands of terrorist groups are indescribable. According to the UN official, Paul B., now more than ever countries in the region need to step up efforts to, to uphold and protect human rights because future generations also pay the price. She added that uprooting terrorist groups who are often deeply enmeshed or embedded with communities is uniquely challenging in the Sahel and has rendered counter-terrorism operations immensely difficult to carry out. In the coming months, the Assistant Secretary General say that it will be crucial for stakeholders in the region to come to our consensus on how to best bring the transitions in Mali and Burkina Faso to a swift conclusion and in a manner that addresses the grievances of the populations in each country. From the civil society, the coordinator and president of the Rights and Resources Initiative Group, Solange Bandiaki Baji, briefed the council members about how climate change impacts conflict dynamics in vulnerable countries. According to Bandiaki, not considering these dynamics could result in an incomplete and flawed analysis because climate change affects the availability, distribution, and quality of natural resources which can escalate conflicts over those resources.